we've had um, coming to the table in Manchester we've had quite a few Muslims come down we began to uh, put Muslim uh, uh, literature for, for Muslims uh, concerning Jesus and um, we've even given out Arabic Bibles we gave about four or five out the other week uh, this week sorry and um, three Muslim lads came down and they were arguing that the Bible wasn't the Word of God from the Gospel of Barnabas and I pointed out to them that this is not the Quran they were using the book that they didn't believe was the Word of God to try and critique the Bible um, the Gospel of Barnabas is is not a first century or a second century AD document it's a much much later um, document um, and I think it's a, a Muslim embellishment, a Muslim document. So I don't think you can use the Gospel of Barnabas as an argument against the Bible. And as as Muslim, young Muslims, you need to really study the Christian side. I, when I talk to Muslims, especially young Muslims, the ones that argue back, they've only studied what their Muslim scholars are telling them. They don't actually listen to what the Christian scholars are saying. And they don't actually read primary source material and and I find that disturbing if you're going to be a uh, a Muslim you've got to look at the evidence and I find a lot of the young Muslims aren't looking at the evidence and they're actually anti-intellectual because they won't actually look at evidence they just blurt out whatever they've been told by their imam or whatever Islamic apologist has given to them that's my experience so if you want to discuss and debate and talk to me as a young Muslim come down to Manchester and let's have a chat and let's look at the evidence and you'll be astounded at the evidence for the Christian faith alright thank you for listening take care